there are bold scenes and i've seen only two episodes <laughs> and, and uh, what my question is that what is your concern going into it when you what is the question that you would ask your maker what will be on your mind when you read all this in the script when i read the scene that i was supposed to shoot yeah for the show mm. i worked really hard towards if you yeah. put your faith right. in your director right. then nothing is yeah. impossible yeah. radhika what about you you know you would be comfortable with the intimacy director telling you these are the points you know that those scenes are not just being just put into the series for the masala it delayed, yeah no it it has something it says something and if they're not it's not necessary to push that ahead it's right. you know i mean it, i'm i'm very clear about that and i am beyond thrilled that there's now a thing like an intimacy coach you read it on paper were there any concerns did you ask any questions no right. concerns no. as such because i've been dying to work with him yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, obviously how can i have any concerns right. i've been waiting for this opportunity great for all of you that you know you get to show such a different side you know some every actor i talk to they say, keep saying that you know they would like to do something different you all have got to do it uh, this is an again and you know your fans who will be watching this they've never seen you like that um you know there are bold scenes and i've seen only two episodes <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what my question is that what is your concern going into it when you what is the question that you would ask your maker what will be on your mind when you read all this in the script Oh uh, it's definitely uh, like you said it is a different part it is a challenging part right. so obviously you are worried about because the landscape is such you have to get the dialect right yeah, you have to get the physicality right yeah. you have to get obviously uh, the characterization mm -hmm. because there is he is very specific okay. so you need to really mm -hmm. hit it you mm -hmm. know you need to the nail on the bullet nail on the bullet wow well, 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 are you asking yeah. are, are, are you asking the what are your concerns with the audience's reactions to such no, an alternative your thing no your concern with when uh, when we go into the parking it yeah. so uh, how will he show you how will it look yeah. eventually not at all one is not worried about <laughs> when is concern like i really no. feel that if you yeah. put your faith right. in your director right. then nothing is yeah. impossible yeah. right right mm -hmm. you can go to any extent okay. because you know that you're, he's not going to show you in a in a light that you would not want to see yourself right. good right that's right yeah. so at least for me Um okay. yeah I think a lot there of there was trust. no question ah. because we did have we did have the intimate intimacy coach session we okay. had one session okay. and she'd come in with a piece of paper with like a <laughs> line drawing of your body and mark out places <laughs> that you don't want to be touched and okay. all I said you know what I don't want to do this okay because I trust him right so so right now like or ever hmm. because at any point I don't want him to think that acha ye ye nahi kar payegi to hmm. let's not do this I don't want to restrict his right. process. Right. Okay. So at least for me I never I never have doubts. If I have doubts I don't do those projects. Right. It's Great. That's your that. personal take. Yes. Radhika what about you? You know you would be comfortable with the intimacy director telling you these are the points or Yeah, I went through the whole process. Okay. Plus I also had trust in him. Yeah. You know that those scenes are not just being just put that. into the series for the just masala. Till it, yeah. No it it has something it says something mm -hmm. at least or it moves the story forward or it reflects something about the character right it's not just for the sake of it okay so when you read the script you know why the scene is there mm -hmm. and knowing homie his aesthetics are incredible mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. so that trust of course i had in him that i am taken care of um mm -hmm. uh, he will like more than the intimacy coach he was he was he was <laughs> conscious about everything right She was also there, and hmm. she also did a great job. But he was also very conscious, like who's there on the set. Right. Uh, clip kaam pe ja rahe hai kya ho mm -hmm. raha hai? How's my actor feeling? He's with with you there, with you, right. taking care of you. Right. In fact, so I'd like to add when I read the scene that I was supposed to shoot. Yeah. For the show, mm -hmm. I worked really hard towards. Okay. It because I, the way it was written, mm -hmm. I could see it. Okay. Mm. That's so nice. I I knew I had to work hard for it. Right. Is it, is it the same shot yeah. that we all love? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. it's a beautiful <laughs> shot. So it's so because when I read it, I was like, you I have that? to nail yeah, it. Yeah. It's it's yeah. no, oh, it is it so is, is, beautifully yeah, like captured. Like a panther with lacerations. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I imagined it. Yeah. No, but I mean, I was I was I think it's uh, 
No, I mean, I think also when you get this kind of trust from your actors, you have a responsibility. Yeah. And uh, for me, I mean, I'm very, very uh, sensitive to uh, my actors. Mm. And I, uh, when I get that kind of trust, there's no way I would ever put an actor in an uncomfortable situation. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. For many reasons, but also mainly, you won't get the performance. Yeah. You're not going to get a performance if an actor is conscious of things that have nothing to do with the scene, actually. Mm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, I mean, as soon as the actor, that's on an actor's mind, you can see the, you can see the untruth in it. Right. So, for me, it's very important that they come up to that point mm. where they fully trust you, where they're fully comfortable. Mm. And if they're not, it's not necessary to push that ahead. It's, right. it's you know, I mean, it, I'm, I'm very clear about that. And I am beyond thrilled that there's now a thing like an intimacy coach. Right. You know, we are Asta on board because it, these are not easy scenes. Yeah, not at all. And I'm they're sure definitely not easy scenes. I mean, there's one horrifying scene which huh. comes in episode three, in fact, uh, mm. which is the genesis of Savitri and mm. her past and where she came from and the tragedy that she goes through mm -hmm. uh, and trauma and uh, very difficult for an actor to do something like that. And so it's very important that and you know uh, that actor, that the girl who plays young Savitri is a girl called uh, Priyasha, Priyasha Bhardwaj. Mm -hmm. And she put up a post okay. after she did mm -hmm. this yeah, scene, okay. you'll see it. And for me, it was such a victory because she put up this post, uh, which was, uh, she said, she thanked me and she said, for the first time in my life, I could perform without being conscious of my gender. <laughs> and for me, that was a great victory. Yeah, that's such a and moment. I know the scene she's talking about. It's not <laughs> that she's talking about a normal yeah. scene. Right. So for me, I, and she said that I was free, you know, I was yeah, free yeah. and I could actually perform something like that. Which, so, yeah. That is such a compliment, absolutely, from your actor. It would like, it'd be nice to know everyone's take. You have been listening to all three of them. What's she doesn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> she just doesn't listen. My take on what? Yeah, they spoke about that. They spoke about the trust they have in their director. Yes. That's what makes them comfortable. When you read it on paper, w were there any concerns? Did you ask any questions? as an actor? Um, I had a lot of questions about the character, which character. I think was fairly clear to me because mm. he's, like I said, he's clear. Mm. But no yeah, concerns no. as such because I've been dying to work with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, obviously, how can I have any concerns? Right. <laughs> I've been waiting for this opportunity. Nice. I mean, this is, you know, we are at a time where OTT is such a crowded space. There are great options, English, Hindi, whatever you want to watch. Uh, do you want to talk to the audience and tell them what are you, what is your plan? What are you giving them? I think, uh, I mean, from what I have consumed mm -hmm. uh, on OTT and what I've seen that there is out there, I don't think there's a yardstick to the show. Right. And uh, the uniqueness of it, mm -hmm. uh, it is probably the most masala thing I've made. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you said that many times. <laughs> Though, <laughs> when we were because it just it. has all the ingredients. Right. It has all the ingredients uh, of entertainment. True. You know, I mean, uh, and like she said, there's nothing there for shock value. Right. It's all very integral to the story, to the mm. character arcs, mm. to why people are doing what they're doing. Mm. So it's not uh, that things have just been thrown in for the heck of it right. to say, hey, let's shock the audience or let's mm. watch it for that, for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. And so the, sto in t the story, uh, they, all these little masala bits mm -hmm. are very integral to the way the narrative flows. Right. So I think you get entertained along the way, you get uh, you go through all the uh, sort of emotions that you go through when you yeah. uh, watch something and you go to get entertained. Nice. So, I mean, it has all that and it's extremely unique in the space the narrative is in, the world the narrative is in. And I don't think there's a, I mean, uh, uh, I, I don't think there's any yardstick. There's nothing to compare it with. Amazing. Uh, luckily, I wish I could say more, but you know, I, I'll keep it to myself. Uh, you know, how many offers and projects do you get as actors where you really think you go back and you're like, okay, I got to grow as an actor? Very few. Extremely, <laughs> very less opportunities. Very less. But yes, I, I think I've been lucky with Mirzapur and this yeah, now. Yes. Of course. Adhika, yeah, yeah uh, very few, very few. but, but I, I, I think I've lucked out with phenomenal directors. You really have done good work. And um, yeah, well, SBF is one of one of those projects. Well, yeah. And it, I feel it changed me as a person and as an actor. I, I feel the growth in me. 
That is amazing. You've done incredible work. Thank you. Um, you know, same question to you. Uh, I yeah. asked this because <laughs> he said that, you know, there was an actor who messaged and said she got to do whatever, you know. What, what, what did you see that as, you know, growth as an actor as well? Yeah, of course. I Does mean, it happen <coughs> often? E every project I do, okay. I make sure I learn something out of okay. it. So I am growing. Right. There's not one project that I've done that where I haven't grown or yes. I haven't learned something new. Mm -hmm. uh, and this by <coughs> far, of course, it's my last uh -huh. um, outing right. and I think it has left some serious good mm -hmm. repercussions in my life mm -hmm. as an actor, as a person, right. as a team builder or as a, you know, just like just to know how to be on set, how to it and you grow as a as a person also because as you're person. playing so many roles. Mm -hmm. You you're doing so many you so many characters that you mm -hmm. have to kind of prepare for. Mm -hmm. uh, you learn something about you in every character. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I yeah. learned a lot out of Kajal. Right. And I'm like when I was actually reading and when I when I was performing, I was like, I am a lot like this mm -hmm. also. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. I am. I feel and I've been told that I'm extremely unpredictable in life. Okay. <laughs> but and I'm like, oh, oh okay, uh -huh. this this kind of works for me. <laughs> right. So yeah. Right. I mean, when this comes out, you know, on Hotstar, uh, you know, there's the menu has everything. It has Star Wars and everything. So you as a maker are pretty much competing with all the makers in the world. Let's go for how, it. How, <laughs> <laughs> how does a maker better the craft? What do, what do, what do filmmakers do? I, I've asked this question to a lot of actors. I've got different answers. How does a maker, do you just watch everything? And I don't watch anything. I barely watch <laughs> anything. No, I'm uh, definitely more interested in... Uh, narratives that play with mindscapes, okay. that play with uh, the unpredictability of uh, human character. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, no, how how do you better it? I don't know, man. I okay. mean, I've, I've been invited to many places to give director workshops. I yeah. don't think you can teach direction. Okay. I think direction is about communication. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I make films for all the for various reasons, not mm -hmm. just because I'm some cinephile, mm -hmm. but I feel uh, and for me, it's it's the experience of making the film that's very important. So I am very uh, conscious of the fact that if I can leave a project um, bettering most of the people I meet along that journey, mm -hmm or enriching my own self mm. because of the uh, paths crossing, I think that for me that's success, not yeah. what the film will be. But the film uh, in itself, I think as we grow and we do more work, we, yeah. we just get more experienced and we, I, I definitely started directing in a very different way after Angrezi Medium, mm. after the whole uh, experience with Irfan. Yeah. Where I don't take so much stress about stuff that's not in my control, which I used to earlier. Okay. Uh, so I really enjoy it. I mean, everyone was like, you're mad. There's no way you would be able to direct all eight episodes, mm -hmm. get a director for each episode <laughs> and you'll be the showrunner. Ah, that's and then Dinesh Vijan, the producer, turned around and said that you're an anal Parsi baba who is going to go <laughs> not allow anyone to touch your material. So you might as well just bite the bullet and, and do right, it. And he's right, right? He's right. <laughs> <laughs> he's absolutely right. And uh, so there was no, and I, it wasn't, I mean, it was a very sort of, uh, rigorous shoot mm. but uh, I think the energy was so good that we just didn't tire mm -hmm. I mean we just did not tire uh, uh, in the way you would expect to right, right. and uh, I think in a strange way we, we grew into a, this sort of dysfunctional family which <laughs> <laughs> is on screen we grew into that off screen you know no, great what you pulled off, you know, not by just you could have sat outside being a showrunner and good you did what you did. Lastly, my question is, the character that you play, how similar or different are you in real life from your character in this? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be very disturbed if any of them are similar. <laughs> yeah, let's hear it. Yeah. Kuch to hoga, similar. Bijli mein kaafi violent streaks hai, I think mein kaafi shantu. Okay. I think I'm kafi alag hai. Ah, kafi alag hai. Ah, I, I think the only similarity is that you also have 500 crores. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's, that's all. Yeah, that's, that's 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 shows all. in your clothes. They're not black. Kai look at your photo. Yeah. Radhika, anything similar, anything, and what is different? Mera ulta hai ki mein violent to asli life mein. Lekin shant hai, bahut shant hai. Okay. Ye mein violent bhi nahi hu, but mein bol deti hu. Mujhe lagta hai ki. Feel or a to bold on air. I'm a little 
दिल फेंक आशिकू <laughs> और शांता सब अंदर रख रख के <laughs> क्या बोलूं क्या ना बोलूं छोड़ो शांता बहुत अलग है लाइक बहुत अलग व्हाट्स डिफरेंट व्हाट्स सिमिलर आई थिंक देयर आर क्वाइट अ फ्यू थिंग्स दैट आर सिमिलर ओके इन टर्म्स ऑफ द लाइक हाउ शी 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 इज verbos you can see what i feel right. most times mm. um i am pretty sure that i am uh, I, like i mean people have you know when you talk to people you kind mm. of get an idea about yourself also mm. so so i feel like there are some things that i kept from my life right for kajal okay. which which i think kind of works mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and there are and there are some things that i had to inculcate okay after hearing from whatever homie had imagined for kajal right so i think it would be like a and what's completely different 40 60 what's completely different one quality that your character has that you just don't have is the you don't run a hydroponic floor <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm going to to our videos videos okay i'm growing the yeah. plants <laughs> And I'm going and around shooting people in Bombay. Yeah. And I, I don't have like <laughs> a. <laughs> and I don't think I have like a like an end goal for everything. Right. Or you know, like a like how Kajal motive, yeah. has a m- motive, or like you know, like mm-hmm. she's working towards something. Or I don't have that. Nah, yeah, right. I live in the moment, and I try to enjoy it. And I don't have like oh, <laughs> you know, if I do this today, maybe 15 years down the line, this will happen. <laughs> that doesn't happen. With All me, right. So. Great guys enjoy the two episodes and also uh, my biggest takeaway from this interview would be just the rapport love respect that you all have for each other it all is right, it is very is. rare and okay. i totally love it thank you thank, thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.